If I head out of the links folder, I've also included a resource folder within which you'll find a PDF called Guardian Style Sheets. This will detail the formatting for each of the three front pages of the Guardian newspaper that we're going to work through. It will show you the names of the files for the images and where they're placed. And it also shows you what are called the paragraph and character style formatting for each of the pages as well. So what on earth are paragraph and character styles? Well, first off, a paragraph style is formatting of text that has been saved and stored in a panel called paragraph styles. If you wish to use that exact same formatting again in the future, somewhere else in your document, you can simply click on the text frame or highlight some text and click on that style name in the paragraph styles panel and it will format it for you in an instant. If you change the style itself, then that edit will cascade across the whole of your document, changing the formatting of the text that has that style applied to it. And the difference between a paragraph style and a character style is that, well, you can apply a character style to one or more characters. In the case at the top of this page, where we've got the jackfruit to long read, notice that the name of the person writing the article has been italicized. And that's using a character style called italic. So these are all types of styles that have been made ready for you in this document that you can apply. And in this exercise, I'll show you how to utilize them. So back in our InDesign document, focusing the upper right hand side page one, I'm going to press the W key just to clear the grids and guides at the moment, because we're not going to use them. And I'll head across to Microsoft Word and select that line of text for the long read. I right click on there and choose copy, head back to InDesign, double click on the text frame and then swipe across all those characters, right click and choose paste. And as you can see from the properties panel, it's using a paragraph style called long read subhead. If I wish to change the name Zoe Williams to be italicized, then I'll just click and hold down the mouse and drag across those to highlight those characters. Click on the tab for character styles. As you can see in here, it's applied with none. So there are no character style formatting applied to those words. It is simply using just the paragraph style formatting. But if I click on the drop down menu in here, there is a style called italic. I'll hit the escape key and click to the side of the page. And just for reference under the window menu, you can go down to styles and there we have the dedicated paragraph and character style panels. If I click on either one of these, usually both pop up together on screen and then I can click and drag and pull the bottom of that paragraph styles panel down so we can see everything in there. And you'll notice that we have character styles. If I left click on the tab for that, you can click and drag and pull these downwards and so that the character styles panel, once you see the thick blue line appear, can be docked immediately underneath. And then I can make that one a little bit smaller. So it's usually the case that you'll apply paragraph styles first to your artwork. So it's usually the case you'll apply your paragraph style formatting to everything first, and then as an extra level of detail, and then as an extra level of formatting on top of the paragraph style, you can change it by using a character style. But the quickest way to find them is from that properties panel. I'll just go up to the top and click on the X inside of there and go to file and choose save.